I am beside myself with joy. Me too. I, I should have known that, that when confronted with the doubts and fears of the proud patriarch, you would, you would stand up in the name of love and that you would finally allow me to place the ceremonial ring on the appropriate finger. It's a beautiful <laughs> ring, Spinelli. Uh, now all that remains is a, is a wedding. And the kind of wedding that I'm going to want, I will warn you, Spinelli, might take months to plan. Maybe even years. Uh, hey, is every, everything okay? She is great. She says congratulations. And she also has a question for the two of you. When is the wedding date? <laughs> well, I would gladly legalize our mutual bliss at the office of the nearest justice of the peace. I, I want, want Max Misa to have the wedding of her dreams. Which I was telling Spinelli could take... A while to plan. I mean, we've only been officially engaged for like 30 seconds and we both need time to recover. Yeah, I, I think Robin was just teasing. I, I know that. We're just nowhere near setting a specific date yet. But that's the first thing people are going to ask you, right? Well, first when, then where, of course. Right, and who's going to be in the wedding? Uh, what kind of flowers are you going to have? What kind of cake? Mm. Invitations? Does any of this sound familiar? I pulled your wedding together in record time because you both wanted to get married before Emma was born. And we almost made it. <laughs> My situation's a little different. Are you sure? <laughs> Wait a second. Now I know why you guys are so anxious to get married. You're pregnant. Spinelli, are you okay? <laughs> it looks pretty happy to me. Yeah, drink this. Uh, I, I apologize for any consternation I may have caused. Just the... The thought of Max used to be with a child is a little over a I'm not, Spinelli, okay? Protection, protection, protection! No babies for me anytime soon! I mean, I, I just became junior editor, and I don't even like maternity clothes, and then there's the issue of, like, swollen feet and stretch marks and no, baby I mean, vomit. But, I mean, the, the idea of, uh, I don't know, Jackal Jr. or Minnie Maximista wandering about our abode is a, it's a pleasant one. <laughs> Let's just handle one thing at a time. First our engagement, and then the wedding, okay? Because if, if we try to move any faster than that, then Max is definitely going to haul you off to jail. Okay? <laughs> well, I got most of the food put away, but since we didn't actually have dinner... Oh, that looks great. Thank you. <laughs> well, Mac wanted a nice family gathering. Yeah, well, Spinelli definitely livened things up, didn't he? Want I can't this? believe he got down on one knee. You remember that, Emma, because cool. that is the way it's supposed to happen. Do you think Maxie really wants to get married? Is she just trying to prove a point to Mac? I don't know. I can't figure her out. She asked you to try and get her out of the whole thing until Mac started laying down the law. Right, but yeah. maybe when Mac said no, that gave her the chance to have something that she really wanted. Or maybe the second someone tells her she can't have something, that's the only thing she can think about. Like when Mac told you you shouldn't be involved in Brianna Hughes' case. And By the way, Alexis didn't us. do it. Emma, your mother is very, very stubborn. <laughs> I mean, tell Daddy that you're exactly the same way, yeah. and so we might as well get used to it. Fair enough, but getting married is a pretty serious thing, and if she doesn't want to go through with this, Spinelli's going to be devastated. I know, you know but Is that right? I've known Maxie all of her life, and she's had to deal with so much for being so young. I mean, first a heart transplant, and then both of her parents leaving her. And every guy she's been with has been either married or left her or died. And for some reason... Spinelli makes all of that go away. He brings out the very best in her, and she gives him confidence. So I think they're perfect for each other. Oh, you do? Yeah. Good. You know what, little girl? I hope that you find someone as great as Spinelli someday. Yeah. 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 Maybe just a little less weird, though. Mm. Thank okay. you. Now, what if Emma wanted to marry a guy like Spinelli? Mm, there's only one Spinelli. No, I mean someone in the mob. Because he is, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. Jason keeps him away from it. And he annoys Sonny, so they stay out of each other's if way. If Sonny wants something from Spinelli, he doesn't hesitate to ask. Spinelli even said that the PI agency isn't turning a profit. Did you see the ring? That's some serious money. Oh, mm, Jason must pay well. I don't know. I don't really know how to get around the whole mob thing. Jason and Sonny are two of my best friends, and I'm the niece of the police commissioner. Maybe Spinelli's the same way. You know, Maxie loves him anyway. I have to admit it. I admire the guy. I mean, it took me months to admit that I was in love with you. I don't think I would have the guts to come over here and ask Mac for your hand in marriage. I probably would have run screaming out of town. <laughs> the, the country. Well, we didn't make things easy, did we? No, but we're worth the hassle. Yeah. 
You know what? When you grow up, you have to marry a man just like Daddy. Mm -hmm. Fearless and kind and sexy. Thank you. <laughs> and he has to treat you like you are the queen of the world. Yes, but when you're old enough, which I think is going to be never. Oh, come on. Don't you want your daughter to be as happy as we are? How do we know if it's the right guy? You won't. She will. Just like I did. But at least Mac has some food in the house. He's going to be so busy with the Michael Christina APB and the whole Brianna Hughes investigation. Any chance you might lay off of that a little? Nope. We are actually going to start questioning people tomorrow about that, right, sweetheart? Oh, so now you're bringing Emma to investigate a murder, are you? <laughs> Here. People seem to talk more when you keep things informal. But you're going to be careful? Mm, yes, of course. We'll just go for a jog on Harborview Road, and Emma can smell the fresh air. I can get some exercise, maybe even solve the case. Just call it multitasking. Yeah? What kind of questions are you going to ask? Some more? Well, nothing specific. I just want to get a sense of what happened the night of Claudia's accident. Okay, let's go. You know, I mean, uh, was the mayor's wife exaggerating? Did the mayor and Alexis really have a fight? Did anybody else see Alexis driving recklessly? Well, I don't like the idea of you dragging Emma into the middle of this. Oh, my mom used to take me along all the time to solve small cases. Besides, Emma has a predisposition to solving crime, right? So we're just going to go with that. But Robin, I get the whole Scorpio, Devane, mystery-solving gene, but I don't want you to get into the middle of something that you can't get out of. 